Today we're in Rocket Park uh, within Johnson Space Centre and uh, in a large shed uh, which houses the Saturn V rocket which is all of about 100 metres long uh, which if you can imagine when it was upright before it was launched how impressive it would look. But the engineering in it is amazing when you think this was you know, in the late 60s and it took us uh, all the way to the moon. The two rockets outside are the very first one for the American space program with Alan Shepard in May 1961, unfortunately three and a half weeks after Yuri Gagarin. Um, that was only for one astronaut at a time and six astronauts went up. Uh, the second uh, quite larger rocket than that was for the Gemini program which took two astronauts up and led the way to uh, the moon uh, landings. So we like we came here and we just went outside and we were looking at the sort of wee first rockets and they were super cool. And then you come in and you see how like massive it all is. It's just like crazy. Like I never I can knew it'd be big, but not like this big. Its sheer magnitude is incredible, and to see how much fuel was actually required to get it off the Earth was outstanding. Just it's, it blows your mind. After a brief visit to Rocket Park, it was on to the Johnson Space Centre Visitor Centre. Now, when I came to space school, we spent quite a lot of time in here making up lots of different challenges. We made rockets, we made Mars landers, we made all sorts of different things. But this year, the students have only got half a day to come and explore. So they get the chance to see moon rock, they get the chance to see different capsules, different mock-ups of space shuttles and spacesuits, whole lot of different things, lots of space knowledge to soak up. So we're going to have a wander around and get to know more. Uh, my name's Dave Brown. I'm the Educational Program Coordinator here at Space Center Houston. I work in the Education Department. Because of the fact that we are their visitor center, the Johnson Space Center, we work hand in hand with the engineers, the astronauts, the actual designers of space exploration. We have artifacts from the actual space program itself, things that have been in space, like an actual Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo capsule. We have a moon rock on display that you can actually touch, physically touch the moon rock that's been on the moon since 3.8 billion years ago. It's on display right here. We're just gonna be, we're just gonna be milling about, had a little look at some different exhibits and stuff, um, learn a bit about the Apollo missions and uh, the Gemini missions and stuff like that, just leading up to the we're looking at some of the moon. crafts that went to space and all that kind of stuff. We've seen like the rover, like the moon rover was quite good, seeing all the like, outfits they would wear up in space was quite interesting. We've just been looking around, uh, reading about the Apollo missions, taking pictures, <laughs> lots and lots of pictures. The first thing you see when a person walks in, it doesn't matter the age, is wow, I didn't realize there was this much to see. But as they walk through the facility, they realize that it's hands-on. You actually get to learn an education information by doing it. It's not all of about the reading, it's what you do. I think with the education that we allow now, for students to have a first-hand understanding that science can be fun, 